The previous example showed that you can have three events that are pairwise independent, but the probability of the three-way intersection between the events is not equal to the probability of each of the three individually. So probabilists had to come up with a way of defining independence for more than two events and it's it's much more complicated than just for two and here is what they have come up with. Events A1, A2 up to AN are mutually independent and the word mutually will be added on um, to independent every time there are three or more events. If there's just two you can just use the word independent. But we, I throw in the word mutually whenever there's three or more. So these events are mutually independent if and only if the probability of occurrence of the intersection of any two, three, four, dot, 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 n of these events is equal to the product of their associated probabilities of occurrence. So in the case of three events, which was the example on the previous slide, the following equations must be satisfied for the three events to be mutually independent. These first three equations here deal with the pairwise independence of the three events. And then finally this last equation shows that the, th the probability of the intersection of three, the three must be equal to the product of the individual probabilities for them to be mutually independent.